Good morning everyone, it's Colin with the Knox County Fire Bureau. And today we're going to talk about one of the three parts of your home fire safety plan, and that's fire extinguishers. Along with having a practiced home fire safety plan and working smoke alarms, having a fire extinguisher in your home and knowing how to use it is very important, especially now that we find ourselves in the home heating season. So let's talk about some of the safety tips that you need to make sure that you're putting into place at your home. The first of which is, where do we keep our fire extinguisher? Usually where people will keep them is in the cabinet next to the stove underneath the sink. Now I would challenge you to go home today, look around your home and find a different place to put your fire extinguisher, some place that's going to be safe. So if there is a fire emergency in your kitchen and you go to start your home fire safety plan and your evacuation plan, that you're retreating to that area of safety to retrieve your fire extinguisher before returning to the fire to put it out. Now that could be a front hall closet, a laundry room closet, whatever's most convenient to the kitchen, but not right next to the stove. Now, understanding that there are different classes of fire extinguishers for different fires. There's class A, which is good for trash, woods, paper, and plastic. Class B, which is for flammable liquids. Class C, which is for energized electrical equipment, like TVs and stereos, game consoles and computers. Class D are your combustible metals, which usually we don't find those in, in our homes, but if you're working in an industrial environment or a recycle center, more than likely you've encountered combustible metal fire extinguishers. And then the last class, the fifth class, that's your class K. Class K is for commercial kitchens where the oils and greases need something specific in order to extinguish them effectively. Now with your fire extinguisher, there's a couple of rules as far as how to use it. First of which is the pass technique. Pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. To accurately deploy your fire extinguisher, you wanna do these four things. First of which, pull the pin. Then aim at the base of the flame. And when you aim at the base of the flame, know that it's not the fire itself that you're aiming at. It's what you feel is on fire underneath that flame. Then you're gonna squeeze the handle to start activating the fire extinguisher. Now, understand that extinguishers are not necessarily light. So we always wanna make sure that we're carrying it and squeezing with our dominant hand and then guiding any hose that may be equipped to the fire extinguisher with our non-dominant hand and then sweep side to side in a nice steady fashion from one corner of what's on fire to the other and back until the fire is completely out. Now, there's two choices as to how this is gonna end. The fire goes out or the fire does not. And remember, if you use the fire extinguisher correctly and the fire doesn't go out, it's your cue to leave. Get out of your house to your safe location and your meeting place with the rest of your home's occupants and wait for the fire department. To effectively use the pass technique, the first step is to pull the pin, free the discharge handle so that you can now aim the nozzle at the base of the flame, squeeze the handle, and then sweep. Make sure that your family has a home fire safety plan and that plan is being practiced twice a year. If you don't have a plan, the best thing to remember is the acronym RACE, Rescue, Alarm, Contain and Extinguish. In the event of a fire emergency, your first responsibility is to rescue yourselves and whoever you're with from danger point A, where the fire is, to safety point B. Now safety point B is traditionally outside of wherever you are. And at home, that's gonna be your safe meeting place. Alarm, make sure you sound the alarm. Call 911. If you're a commercial occupancy, pull a pull station. But calling 911 is critical. And then C, contain. As we move through where we are from danger point A to safety point B, just simply close the doors that we pass through. By putting that door in between the fire and the unburned part of wherever you are, you're causing that fire to slow down. 
preventing it from finding new fuel and getting larger. That's going to do worlds of help for the fire department when we finally get there. And then ultimately you've reached E for extinguish. And if you have the right fire extinguisher that's the right size and type for that fire and you feel confident that you can extinguish it, then please by all means, if you do not, if you do not feel comfortable with what's happened where the fire has grown now larger than you first saw it, then do not attempt to fight that fire. Exit the structure, go to your safe meeting place and wait for the fire department to arrive.